Hello! Uh, so guys, this is a rare edition of uh, talking about some nutrition stuff, uh, but uh, from the homestead, or the lair, if you will. Um, so I've had a bit of constructive criticism uh, about the videos I've been doing over the last couple of weeks, and one of them is um, it's all interesting, useful information, but it's hard to know where to start. So I thought the best way for me to like, approach this is to give people a real like solid starting point. Um, so a lot of people are wondering like how to work out their calories and macros. So unless you're doing this like uh, through like slightly more complicated uh, measures and you know, really sitting down with someone and getting to go through it for you, um, my fitness pal does a really fantastic job of this, uh, and it's a free app that's out there for you uh, that will work out your um, basic metabolic rate and then it will also take in um factors of your like uh amount of like exercise you do like in a day and then you can also log exercise as well i'm not too convinced on lots of uh how accurate it is for when you're logging exercise um but it's a good measure and it's a uh it's a good guide anyway i should say um so we can start off by using my fitness power to work out like exactly how many calories you're probably needing and um now guys i'm going to show you my weekly shop so uh, I should first start by saying that there is uh, four, five bags, and I brought them all in one go because I'm pretty manly like that. Um, so I'm just going to go through like all the stuff now. I'm going to lay it all out in front of you, uh, and then we'll talk about what is for what and what um, is it made out of. Hey guys, so this is it. Uh, this is uh, all my food uh, for the week. Uh, I probably will eat out once as well, but this is most of it. So I'm going to go through it um, from right to left. So I've got a new addition uh, to my diet in the form of uh, some liquid egg whites. I picked these up online, uh, but they're going to be a big factor in my diet throughout the week, so I thought I'd post uh, or show you these as well. Uh, and I've got some normal eggs. So those are going to be predominantly for my breakfast. Um, have said before about you know food is just food and you can eat at any time right throughout the day uh, but I find eggs do feel very breakfasty uh, and they're really easy to sort of get in at that time um, what I've been having recently is I've been having uh, five egg whites and two eggs um, and I've been just very very wasteful it goes against everything I talked about in my last um, thing from that blog post about you know wasting food and you know sort of like, um, being um, environmentally friendly and I've actually been throwing away some of the yolks so I've uh, got rid of that and now I've uh, got some egg whites. I've got some uh, fruit juice uh, from extra sugars uh, that's going to be predominantly sort of like a pre-workout um, well, um, gets those uh, extra carbs in. I've got some teas to make me more likely to uh, get fluids in when it's cold and I'm really less likely to be sort of getting as much fluid so it's just something that makes uh, water more palatable. Um, some anti-aging uh, Moisturizer, how it looks so youthful. Uh, some coffee uh, because it's coffee and it's fantastic. And then from there we've got our meat. Uh, so I've got quite a few different types of meat here. I've got my fish. Um, the fish here is um, it's got a longer lots of uh, so uh, use by date. So that's going to be sort of my uh, dinners that I'm going to either fry up or I'm going to microwave up if I'm really tired in a rush. I've got some parma ham. That's going to be to tide me over until my uh, meal cooks in the evening when I get in from work. Uh, and this is like the this is the real like sort of base of my um, my meat through the week really here uh, for this week anyway is uh, some turkey mince. I'm going to be making a chili. Uh, in that chili also, I'm going to be getting some unsmoked uh, pancetta um, just to give it a little bit of extra flavour. That's my main sort of like protein source um, throughout the day um, in my um, first and second lunch. Uh, I've then got some chicken thighs, that's going to be a dinner throughout the week as well, and I've got a steak, that's going to be a dinner throughout the week as well. From there, I've pulled it into our fats. So we've got a couple of different fats here. So we've got some goat's cheese. Um, any of you know me, know I love my goat's cheese, and that's going to be a snack predominantly. Um, and if I'm coming in in the evening and I'm under calories, uh, I've got some halloumi, that's going to be my evening meal, that's going to go with some of these uh, meats. Uh, probably go quite nicely with the steak. I've got some hummus, um, again that's going to be sort of like evenings. I've got some olives which I'm going to be getting in throughout the day. Uh, and Sorry about that, yeah, getting those uh, throughout the day and then in the evening as well. This is a new thing that I'm trying out. So this is coconut milk uh, yogurt alternative. So fairly high in fat and sugars here. That's definitely going to be a treat in the evening. 
last piece of my fats here is some avocado. Obviously, that's a fairly decent bit of fat, protein, and uh, carbohydrate. Moving over to my left, all the greens. So we've got loads and loads of greens here. The spinach is predominantly going to be sort of in the evening again, and that's just going to be in a big salad bowl with some olive oil and some either red wine vinegar or balsamic vinegar. I've then got another bag of cooking spinach, which is going to go in the chili. The curly kale is going to go in the chili as well. And I've got some rocket and some watercress, and that's all going to go in that big bowl for my salad in the evening. I've got some asparagus here as well. That's going to go in evening meals. And cucumber, that's going to go in that big bowl of salad. Uh, celery sticks is probably going to just accompany the... Uh, the, the hummus, uh, that's just going to be more evening stuff. At the moment I seem to be getting a lot more calories in in the evening. During the day I have a reasonable side breakfast, um, quite a filling sort of lunch or two lunches, and then I'm saving most of my fats uh, for the evening. It just seems to be making me feel better at the moment, it's something I've played around with over time. Courgettes, that's going in my chilli again. Loads and loads of mushrooms, that's all going in my chilli. And I'm going to be making up my own tomato sauce for the chilli out of some fresh tomatoes there. Uh, some fresh basil, again it's just more flavour for the chilli. And then I've got my proper carbs all over here. So I've got some sweet potato, I've got some sweet. The sweet potato, that's going to be breakfast. And also going to uh, fill out some of my chilli. I've got some sweet potato already still in the house. Uh, Swede, that is going to be an evening meal piece, uh, so I'm probably going to be microwaving that more than anything else. The aubergine is going to be going in evening meals or the um, the chilli, I haven't quite decided. And this isn't a secret baby that I keep in the house, these are for me. Uh, I find they're really easy to like, sort of metabolise. I have those after workouts a lot of the time if I've done something particularly um, sweaty and it's really taken it more out of me. So guys, that is it. That is my uh, my weekly shop. Hopefully that's been useful for you guys to get a bit of an insight into what we uh, do as coaches in a, uh, a week for our food. And uh, echoing some of the stuff that Lee was saying the other week, you know, it's prioritising um, your food and prioritising what's your diet. It really is a massive part of what you do. Hopefully that was interesting.